will be able to hold off the fiends. It's all thanks to you, hero. I, yeah, I'll take. What is she doing? Yeah, exactly. That's not it. Do you not like me? What? Stay like this a moment longer, dude. What? To stab you while your guard is down. Huh? She knew my one weakness. That should do it. <laughs> Poor thing, you don't seem to understand what's happening. Uh, <laughs> Shouldn't a manly man like yourself be a little more perceptive? Oh yes, you I exude manly manliness. Manly <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Outer Plane. Brand new gotcha game, apparently from Smilegate, if the intro is to be believed. I know nothing about this game other than it is filled with personality and a character that kind of looks like one of the characters from uh, Soul Worker, actually. This game just launched two days ago. Uh, might be very unoptimized for uh, emulators right now. As we're seeing, it is, uh, <laughs> it, it is definitely lagging a little bit. I guess like, I could have tried this on my I wanted to try this on my uh, my iPhone originally, but unfortunately, this game isn't accessible in my region. Uh, the character models look very pixelated, though, and there's no voice acting, which is surprising. I wonder if I can like improve the the quality of the character models once I'm actually in the game and have access to the system settings. Yeah, because the 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 admittedly like. <laughs> there is a serious need for some anti-aliasing. <laughs> so, we start off at level 50. We have access to three different abilities. We can choose our target if we want to. I'm assuming there's going to be auto combat. The option for auto no on the doubt. left. Do not resist. There's English voice acting though, just not for the not for the story. For the characters in game, however, I don't know. I feel like, me, guys, I want you to to leave a comment. Let me know. Are you the only one that is uh, less interested in a story that isn't voice acted? Like, it doesn't matter if the voice acting is in English or if the voice acting is in Japanese or Korean. I I just feel like having voice acting present in the cutscenes just gives it so much more personality. I, I can't be the only one that feels that way. Here I come! Blazing sword! Uh, I mean... When she swung her sword, we probably saw a lot more than she wanted to be seen, or <laughs> expected to be seen. And as you guys can tell, this is, uh... Turn-based. There's no, like, active, uh, battle gauge, there's no action combat, this is completely turn-based. Which works for me, because I love uh, turn-based JRPGs. And given this is a level 100 boss and we're level 50, I'm assuming this is one of those, like, preludes to the actual story where it's like, Oh, you know, this is what's gonna happen, you know, 300 hours in the future. Now we'll be able to hold off the fiends! It's all thanks to you, hero. I- yeah! I'll take- what is she doing? Yeah, exactly. That's not it. Do you not like me? What? Stay like this a moment longer. Dude, what? To stab you while your guard is down. Huh? She knew my one weakness. That should do it. Poor thing, you don't seem to understand what's happening. Uh, <laughs> Shouldn't a manly man like yourself be a little more perceptive? Oh yes, yes I exude manly manliness. <laughs> Your Highness, how could you? Our hero, he was the one you summoned, the one meant to save our world. Oh, oh shut up, you. Why, Tanya and I? What is this sick joke? I came here, and I learned how to trust again. The first king's treasure. Well, the dungeon core, to be more accurate. A piece of the scientific inheritance that grants wishes. It just needs a sacrifice. And earthlings work the best. Dude! <laughs> I could not have asked for a better offering than you. When you told me about your past, how your friends betrayed you, 
I just knew you would come to me like this is a lamb some to the slaughter. <laughs> sick, twisted shit. Well, dungeon core. I offer to thee the life of this earthling. In return, grant me absolute power. Intense human emotion detected. Automaton Ava, initializing operation. Dude, that was actually such a cool scene. I like how you're literally taught everything you need to know in your first 15 minutes of playing the game. After which, you get to the the tutorial of the game where they reteach you everything they just finished teaching you at the beginning of the game for whatever reason. Thankfully, there is a skip button though, so I can I can skip the tutorial, that is something that I feel more games Fire. need to utilize. I hate the fact that new games don't provide you that opportunity to skip what you already know if you have an extensive history in the genre like I do. Please step back, Master. I have detected a life signal approaching. You know, the Asians have this weird obsession with uh, calling their male main character's master what would one of five elemental types earth water fire light or darkness and if you combine all those powers together you could summon captain planet there are five class archetypes defenders strikers ranges ranges rangers mages and healers she's a mate oh my god there's a girl floating on a broomstick who would have thought that she was a mage i think i found my guild my guild is, uh, Opai. I guess that was a, uh, a, that was the guaranteed three star. Do they have an infinite reroll here? I mean, we'll try. We'll try a couple pulls and see what happens. If we get her every time, then unfortunately we're gonna be forced to keep her. Welcome students. To okay, the good. Magic Academy. I like this one already. I'm Lapless Magnolia, 43rd Dean of Magnolia. <sighs> okay, yeah, I found who I wanted. <laughs> yep, this is exactly who I wanted. How did it know? Yes, please. Okay, so it is worth noting. You can uh, continue re-rolling until you get the characters you want. That is fantastic. I, I very, very deeply appreciate that. I do. I hate, like with Higan Arathol, who, uh, who prevented players from re-rolling. I, I think that is damaging the trust of your players. I wonder if there's a pity in this. I guess we'll quickly take a look. I got a bunch of two stars. All right. I got a three star, a bunch of two. It looks like there is uh Pity is at 200. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> that's pretty bad, but I mean, they do kind of give you any hero you want right off the bat. So I can't really complain, but at the same time, that's still kind of bad. Dude, the, the movements in this game are so fluid. The character oh, movements are great. Turn? Everything about this game graphically is what? fantastic. And now that I put anti-aliasing on, the game actually looks good too. Dude, you're ruining a great opportunity for dinner. Mrs. Steaks would not be okay with this. Mrs. Steaks would be causing a scene if she didn't get her ham. You know the best... Well, I got distracted very quickly. Hostile entities detected. What I was going to say though was, you know what the best the thing the about me. having autoplay in a game is? So, I can pull up my phone, okay. 
I can go into the comment section of my videos. I can just respond to people. Like, technically, I'm recording footage. Whoa. Technically, I'm hard at work here. And I'm also replying to comments, you. so I'm doing two things at once. I'm pushing no, through this right. game, and I'm replying to you guys who are leaving comments on Striking the videos, which seal. you guys should do if you're interested in the video, if you want to talk with me directly. Because interaction is always is always important for the channel and to, to get to know one another. So, I get to do all of this at once. Having to, being forced to actually play the game, like in, uh, in Genshin Impact or in Tower of Fantasy or in Wuthering Waves, like having to actually do that manually, that is time consuming. And admittedly, like I am joking. Uh, I prefer manual play, I do, but for games like this, autoplay works. It uh, allows you to get through the arduous grind. But autoplay is, auto combat specifically, is only gonna work for so long. Because as, as happens with every game, you eventually hit a point where your characters are just fucking dumb. They don't use their abilities when they should, they don't heal when they should, they don't preemptively try to mitigate damage when they should, and then they lose, and you're required to then take a more hands-on approach to it. New option unlocked, friends. What are they? I don't I, I, I don't think I've ever played a gacha game where I've added a friend. Clearly this guy has had one too many Happy Meals. Okay, evidently, uh, we probably shouldn't have taken his Happy Meal. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect for him to like rage out like this. I, I know people love McDonald's, but uh, but this is excessive, I think. How many chapters are there at present? 10. Man, okay, that is, uh, this is admittedly more than I had anticipated seeing. So there is the option here to rerun maps that you've already run. Now, it makes sense to require stamina, it does, but it also seems to require these tickets that I have zero of thus far. That is incredibly disappointing to see because it means that these tickets are probably sold in some kind of cash shop or earned and if they are sold via the cash shop, that means they are probably gating, rerunning content behind a paywall. Now, if it's earned solely and exclusively in game, then fine, that is perfectly okay. I have not seen the option to earn those currently yet. It says you can obtain clear tickets through the feature below, the anti-particle generator. So it looks like there is a way to actually obtain it in game but you might be limited to only a few per day compared to potentially being able to purchose a lot more. Again, I'm just speculating that that's the case based off of what I've seen in other gacha games. Dude, wait, I got another Lapless, really? No way, the luck, the luck. Okay, so your pity doesn't actually, the, even if you get a three-star hero, it doesn't reset. All right, that's good to know. So it's not horrible. It's the pity is, is less bad than I originally thought it was. But the lock, oh my God, I can transcend her. Holy crap. Dude, that is, Will I scare the students too much now? That is so lucky. I bet there are people sitting there watching right now that are livid that I just got her. Oh my god, Sticks, you're so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I kind of feel bad sometimes when I'm playing these games. Like, this is this is what, like, a swamp. Like, it, it, I, I feel like I'm invading this place. This is like a giant mushroom swamp. Here is some, like, a frog king. He's just trying to protect his people. He's just trying to rule over his people, you know? Trying to have a nice, thriving society, and we're coming in here, and we're murdering all of them. Now, I do actually have a coupon code here. I don't know if this will work by the time I, I post this video, but 
This is working as of, uh, I think the 22nd. And it gets us 1,500. Did it, did it work? Okay, yeah. It gets us 1,500 uh, crystals. So that'll get us a full 10 ball, which is great. All right. We apparently unlock the ability to ascend our heroes. We require elemental fragments to do so. Unfortunately, I do not have remotely close to enough to successfully upgrade her, but apparently I can, I can farm them? Closes in one day. Oh God, yeah, I better get to farming this if that's the case. But I could do that off screen. I don't tactically need to show that with you guys here. So I'm gonna leave that there for tonight. I'm gonna go work out and I'm gonna go shower. I'm gonna hopefully grind through everything to ascend my heroes when I continue this tomorrow. I have them all like level 20 plus easy. I say that, but then I see there are limited number of tickets. <laughs> I have two out of two and they cost one to enter each one. So they are very heavily gating a lot of content. I'll fight according to the codes of chivalry. And I, I don't think I'm okay with that. I don't like the the gated content. I want to be able to grind as much as I want without limitations. Like if I, if I want to upgrade this, you know, Lapless to, you know, whatever, five star, like five rarity, level 100 i want to be able to spend like 30 hours doing that and farming that i don't want to be like i can do the i can do this instance two times today because i'm not paying for more tickets i think that is very unfair but i understand that a lot of gotcha games do do it i just don't think that that should be a thing all right we're back day two level 23 every character we've ascended we've upgraded we're ready to continue i am at the final episode or the, the the final mission of chapter two the 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 monsters have definitely caught up to me in level if i hadn't upgraded my characters i feel like i would have been at a severe disadvantage but now i haven't really had any difficulty up until this point if i'm being honest but i remember the boss of chapter one or the boss of episode one was actually interestingly much more difficult than all of the uh, all of the the normal fights throughout the the episode. So I'm curious if there's going to be a drastic increase in terms of difficulty for this boss as well. I mean, based off of what we see of the monsters, I don't foresee this being much of a challenge. A few moments later. Wait, at the top it says Rage uses an ultimate ability after three turns. That was actually pretty strong. But that wasn't his, his major ability. Wait, we're all stunned. Wait, we're all... <laughs> Wait, he healed! Dude, I got fucked up! Well, like I said, the, the first uh, first boss fight of chapter one was quite significantly more difficult than uh, anything we'd experienced up until that point, so I guess it makes sense. I guess for uh, for the boss fight, I might have to turn off autoplay. See, this right here, I, I addressed yesterday, is uh, is part of the reason why I think autoplay doesn't work at uh, later levels, it's because regardless of uh, how well the AI can play their characters, there are going to be instances where 
Rendering aid. There are going to be instances where uh, they would or should use an ability that they don't. Oh my god, he melted! I f he didn't even he didn't even deal any damage to me. Holy shit! I absolutely wrecked that guy. Oh my god! See, autoplay played for me. Autoplay got absolutely destroyed. The dude had seven HP bars out of eight left. When I played it myself, I wrecked him. Absolutely dominated him. I'm assuming this is to do with gear. Holy, look at her. You have like this weird mech thing, a giant dragon, and a hot half-naked lady. Like, <laughs> sure, let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that one. I'm interested in that one. Dude, they are all <laughs> It seems to be a bit of a struggle to uh, contain her over what the f Oh my god. Now the Skyward Tower is another feature we unlock. This is pretty pretty basic. It's in every single gacha game. There's just an infinite number of towers. You slowly progress or you get rewards for each tower you successfully complete. I did uh, level my characters a little more. I equipped them with uh, slightly better be gear. I upgrade. Oh, hi, Cindy. Oh. One thing I do find interesting about this game <laughs> is that, uh, I quite enjoyed that. Is that when doing boss fights, you typically. In traditionally in gacha games, you have to kill everything, every monster. You got to kill the boss. You got to kill the ads, etc., etc. But in this game, once you kill like the main guy, the boss, the elite, it doesn't matter about the ads. The ads just automatically vanish with him, and so the AI never focuses on eliminating the ads. They always hard focus the boss. Now there are pros and cons to this. The pros are that you eliminate the boss first and faster, and then you don't waste time trying to eliminate the ads. But the con here is that by focusing the boss, you're allowing the ads to continue to deal damage to you, which in the grand scheme of things, long term, means you'll be taking more damage, which means you might not make it to the point where you can successfully kill the boss. So, it has its pros and its cons. Now, one thing I don't like about the Skyward Tower here is that it actually takes stamina to do. Now, for those of you that have been playing gacha games for a while, I'm sure you know that typically the, like the, the towers, they don't have a stamina cost, which means you can continue to attempt to, to uh, progress through them. Because they're not like a, a main integral part of the game, a focus. But it seems like if I attempt to do 10 of the Skyward Tower levels, then I'll be completely out of stamina and unable to continue with the story. So I was hoping I could push through like as far as I possibly could and see the extent that I could reach. But at the same time, I'm not going to be able to because otherwise I'll be locked out of doing the story. And if I'm locked out of doing this story, th today is day two of me recording. Tomorrow I'm going to be posting the video on it with my impressions. I can't just be like, hey, I wasted all my time and resources in the in the Skyward Tower and, and opted not to push through the game and see what it was like a little later, a little further through it. Oh, hi. You're the village chief. Okay. <laughs> I mean... Uh, I, I, I guarantee you, your village would be more of a, a city or, I don't know, a kingdom, an empire, if you were an IRL uh, village chief. I mean, like, you would your, your continent would be comprised of literally at least a million or so degenerates that are going to be signing up ready to play this game. I would like to point out, though, the purple-haired girl has a very big head. Oh my god. Like, it's so much bigger than, uh, Laplace's head. Laplace has a normal-sized head, but this purple-haired girl... Uh, you guys are never gonna unsee this now, but... Her head is enormous. It's like the size of one of the other character's upper torsos. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm actually recording for the third day in a row now. 
I had not anticipated recording for three days, but I was actually kind of interested in the game. It, it, it's kind of fun, it's very difficult, and it requires a lot of active participation from me. Now, I did just unlock the arena, which I'm always terrible at because I hate the arena in gacha games. Thanks. Typically, the AI controls you both your character. Dude, I feel like two of my units are already half dead. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that, that happened. Like, could you imagine watching this battle go on, though, from the, <laughs> from, like, the seat? <laughs> Just watching this chick summon a giant leviathan <laughs> from... Now, as you can tell, I made it through episode one, episode two, episode three. I, I struggle a little bit with episode three. I'm uh, halfway through episode four. I could probably finish episode four today, but at the same time, Wuthering Waves, the closed beta for Wuthering Waves comes out in three hours and 10 minutes, and I am gonna be streaming it. I'm gonna be streaming it every day this week. So, I don't have any more time to push through this, but I made it almost halfway through the story. And honestly, it wasn't bad. I feel like Outer Plane is actually not a bad game. There are aspects of it that I don't like. It's not, uh, it's not free to play friendly and it doesn't allow you to play an excessive amount of it consecutively. You need to break it up and you need to play half an hour, an hour, maybe an hour and a half each day. So I can't just know life like I did with Arknights or like I did with Genshin when I started or even like I did with Eversoul. On the contrary, you're forced to tackle it at a much more moderate pace. And for me, for someone that likes to just pour infinite amounts of hours into the game until I just power through and finish it, that just isn't, it doesn't work for me. Now, the, the game, it looks great graphically. The game plays I'm well. I'm still kicking at all. The I wasn't able to do a thing back there. It, I, if I were to give it an actual, like definitive numerical rating, I would give it a, an easy six out of 10. I think this is an above average game. I don't think it is something I would dedicate my time to, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour each week, but there are just better games out there, better alternatives out there. I do think that this does possess a modicum of potential, but at the same time, given the fact that it requires such an intense grind and gates so much content, I don't think, unfortunately, it's really going to take off, if you do which is a shame orders, because the story's perform. not bad Please. and it looks good and plays well. So Anything. overall, I think this is kind of just gonna be a, you know, a game that releases that has a million people play it, maybe a couple million people play it over the course of the year, probably make them five, $10 million and then fade into obscurity shut down in the next, I don't know, 18 to 36 months. Now, if Outer Plane isn't your thing, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now. One featuring a list of every confirmed gacha game releasing this month and the other featuring a gacha game that actually just released that I urge you to go ahead and take a look at.